What's up guys and welcome back to another episode of Headphones Neil Reviews. I'm your host as always, Headphones Neil, bringing you a kind of random and spur of the moment review in the form of the 1978 film, The 36th Chamber of Shaolin. So I was browsing around something for something to watch and I saw that this was streaming on Amazon Prime and after having recently watched the Ip Man films with Donnie Yen, I thought I would go back to see this particular film also because it is claimed to be one of the greatest um, martial arts films and one of the first of its kind. So I gave it a watch and at a running time of just under two hours, it's a pretty tightly packed film that follows the life of a uh, martial arts legend and disciple San Te, who loses his family to the current regime. Um, joins the order of the Shaolin monks and trains under their form of Kung Fu um, and then ultimately goes on to take down the general and his minions and then ultimately start his own teaching school um, with his version of Shaolin which I guess is supposed to be a variant of a direct variant of what he learned but more towards are more geared towards the common folk so older overall the film was very well done it was pretty smoothly progressed or pretty smoothly progressed through the various elements of the film it was that at least that version on amazon prime is english dubbed and the one thing i liked is that they did not go crazy with the accent or change too much of the tonal style of the acting as far the um words as far as I could tell so I wasn't really annoyed with that so I like that they didn't go crazy with that particular trope and it generally fit with the um, mood and scenes of the film so definitely a plus there um but other than that that's really all there is to say it was very it was worth the watch is definitely um easy to get through um I kind of would have preferred hearing it in the original um, dub, audio dubbing of the film and um, had it was subtitled rather than um, dubbed but it dubbed in English but since it was the only version of watch it was fine with me um, but from there uh, watching the film it was easy for me to draw parallels and comparisons to um, the usual thing I go to which is Star Wars so it very f or it closely uh, mimics the story we see in Star Wars with Luke losing his um, aunt and uncle, going with the teacher um, in Obi Wan, which is a parallel to Teacher Ho learning, starting to learn the ways of the Force, and then um, Luke meeting up with Yoda, who's the Grand Master of the Jedi Order, which mimics the Shaolin monks and their mastery of the various chambers and then um the townsfolk being the correlation with c-3po and r2d2 so kind of the not necessarily the humor but the light-hearted side aspect of it um general tian ta and his minions are kind of darth vader emperor palpatine and the stormtroopers so there's that um so overall pretty well done and then with sun tae um, starting the school is kind of like Luke Skywalker starting his Jedi school um, that we don't see in the films, but we know he's um, that ultimately ended that we saw in The Last Jedi. So all in all, a easy um, comparison to make. So I like that call that tie-in. So if it, for nothing else, think of this as a consolidation of some of Luke's storyline into one film. Um, Granted, they only showed 10 of the 36 chambers in the film, and at, have, having seen all 36 would, you know, probably double the length of the film. So it was good that they summarized it, so I liked that particular sequence as well, but it was nice that they broke that down as well. Um, so definitely worth the film to watch. Um, so if I was to grade the film, um, I'd give it about, a, I'd probably give it um, a solid grade of an A. Um, there's nothing, very little that I could say, think um, negative about it. Um, just, it was very well done. So if anything, the only thing that I would want to change is maybe the qual the picture quality. Um, to up if they have the original um, camera negatives to 
um, upconvert it to improve the color quality, remove some of the graininess and s stuff like that. But other than that, overall, it was a very good film. Um, it has about a 77% grade on on um, IMDb. I was trying to look up um, if there's a Rotten Tomato score for it, but um, in general. It, I would recommend watching the film if you're a fan of martial arts films. You want if you want to see something that's kind of one of the original ones um, that has a nice story, very tightly packed, and um, doesn't spend too much other time, doesn't have any crazy acting, or doesn't go with the usual tropes of martial arts films with the voice acting and dubbing and overacting and things like that. It's very well done. They take it pretty. Um, tightly and you can easily follow the journey of Sante through this film. So that's all there is for this particular review. So if you have any questions, comments, feedback, or anything like that, you can find me on Twitter at PatelN01. The website is HeadphonesNeal.Reviews for past episodes, subscription links, supporting the show, and all of that good stuff. But thanks for tuning into this particular episode, and until next time.